On this Pentecost Sunday year A 2023, we reflect on which Christian is filled with the Holy Spirit among us. From the first reading, we see how the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit and what was happening there. On this Pentecost Sunday year A, we ask, why do we celebrate Pentecost Day? Did the Holy Spirit descend only on Pentecost Day? Looking around us, which Christian could be said to be filled with the Holy Spirit in our world today? To begin with, on this Pentecost Day, which means 50th day after Christ's resurrection, one may wonder and ask, does it really mean that the Holy Spirit descended only on Pentecost Day? No. Why? Because according to the scriptures, the Holy Spirit existed before Pentecost Day. For instance, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, the Spirit hovered over the waters. In the New Testament, there are persons who are filled with the Holy Spirit like Elizabeth, Zechariah, John the Baptist, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and even Jesus, who was filled with the Holy Spirit. To be more concrete, an event like the baptism of Jesus, the scripture tells us that the Holy Spirit descended on him in form of a dove. In fact, the gospel passage for this Pentecost Sunday states clearly that during the first day of the week after Christ's resurrection, he appeared to his disciples and breathed on them, saying, Receive the Holy Spirit. Again, the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel passage for this Pentecost Sunday present to us totally different occasions or days that the Holy Spirit descended on the apostles. Nevertheless, the two accounts about the coming down of the Holy Spirit as seen in the first reading and in the gospel passage are not contradictory, but more of complementary for deeper understanding. In other words, this is to say that from the Acts of the Apostles, written by St. Luke, places the descending of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Day because of two reasons. One, the Holy Spirit replaces the law given at Mount Sinai in the First Testament. Of course, Pentecost is the second of the three important annual feasts in the Jewish calendar. Moreover, during Pentecost, according to Jewish understanding, two events were celebrated. One, a feast of thanksgiving for the harvest of crops, which is eventually offered to God, and two, commemorating the giving of the law to Moses at Mount Sinai. The second reason as to why St. Luke places the descending of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Day would be the usage of images and symbols borrowed from the First Testament as seen at Mount Sinai. For example, in the first reading, we find images and symbols such as a powerful wind, tanks of fire, and strong wind because they are borrowed from the First Testament at Mount Sinai in Exodus chapter 19 from verses 18 to 19. Today, what are the three events celebrated on Pentecost Sunday? One, the official descending of the Holy Spirit on the apostles. I say official descending of the Holy Spirit because we have seen above that the Holy Spirit was witnessed even before the day of Pentecost. Two, it marks the birth of the church. Before receiving the Holy Spirit, the apostles were assembled in the house, hence forming an ecclesial community of believers, the church as the people of God. Lastly, liturgically speaking, Pentecost Sunday marks the end of Easter season. Which Christian could be said to be filled with the Holy Spirit in our churches today? A Christian who has the Holy Spirit manifests three behaviors, namely, bears true witness, two, puts in use the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit, 
and finally speaks one language. Let us begin with a Christian who bears true witness. From the gospel text, on the first day of the week, the disciples had locked themselves in a room because of fear for the Jews. While still in the house, the resurrected Christ appeared to them, gave them a gift of peace, and left them with the Holy Spirit. Afterwards, the Holy Spirit made the disciples to have courage, fortitude, and wisdom to preach the good news to all nations. Today, under the influence of the Holy Spirit, a Christian would walk many kilometers to attend Holy Mass, or a Christian who sacrifices for the sake of a family, or a priest who works hard for the sake of his parishioners. I am convinced beyond doubt that it is the Holy Spirit that gives such men and women the courage to bear witnesses in whatever they are doing. Second, a Christian puts in use the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit. When one is baptized and confirmed, the Holy Spirit is received together with its fruits. Which gifts, which fruits of the Holy Spirit do you have? Do you put them in good use today? Finally, a Christian filled with the Holy Spirit speaks one language. What do I mean? On Pentecost Day, the apostles were filled with the Holy Spirit, and that is why they spoke different languages, but it was understood by the devout men and women who had come in Jerusalem for the feast. This event can be contrasted with what happened at the Tower of Babel, whereby there was total confusion and chaos in communication. But during Pentecost Day, even though they spoke in foreign languages, there was understanding, hence promoting love, unity, communion, forgiveness, and togetherness. We can say that when one is transformed or inspired or filled with the Holy Spirit, one will speak one language that is understood by everybody, and that language is love, the language of forgiveness, the language of reconciliation, the language of respect, the language of caring for one another, and the language of togetherness as a church. To conclude, on this Pentecost Sunday, year A 2023, we are invited to be guided by the Holy Spirit we received in baptism and in confirmation so that we can speak one language, the language of our love in our families, in our societies, and in our churches today. Amen. Have a blessed Pentecost Sunday.